So here's the photo case and the wide lens as well as the macro lens from Moment. It's for the uh, iPhone 7 Plus. So here, getting the case ready and popping it out. I chose the one with the black canvas and beautiful picture inside. Mm, let's get lost, all right, and uh, let's get started. There's a manual in there. It feels really soft and uh, you want to put your phone in there to sleep. And then the side of the case has a nice rubber feel to it. All right, and it's ready. That was easy. So let's have a look at the uh, lenses. Let's take the wide lens first. Uh, no need to use a knife here. You can just take it out of the case. And a guide inside as well. Have a look at that. All right, pop out the lens. Feels really heavy. A lot of glass and a lot of metal around it. And a microfiber, a little carrying pouch, and a, a lens cap to put on the uh, lens to protect it when you're carrying it around. That's it's really handy. So let's pop it out and look at that beautiful glass. On our way with that, let's have a look at the macro lens. There it is. And a nice picture inside there as well. And a, a guide to get started. Same as the other one. So there it is. It isn't quite as heavy as, as the macro lens. Oh sorry, as the as the wide lens. And a microfiber carrying pouch as well. And a lens cap. So let's put it on the iPhone. So there's a line here on the case. And there is a line as well on the uh, lens. So these are, are put in line and then 90 degrees screwed on. The um, the lens is ready. There it is. Oh, it looks great. It feels a bit heavy and it changes the, the balance of the phone. So it sort of tilts forward because, because of the, the weight of the lens. And there it is. A bit more close up. Looks a bit fisheye-like, but it's it's only the wide lens. So here's the micro lens. Um, let's screw it on. And 90 degrees tilt to the side, and it's ready. It's a bit hard to focus with this lens, and you have to get really, really close. But then you get some beautiful details that you couldn't see otherwise. And there it is. And here are some uh, photos that I took with the uh, macro lens and apple and some orange peels and some and an olive leaf. So now let's try out the uh, wide angle lens. Is without the, the wide angle lens. It is. I was a bit afraid to, to drop it on the ground because of its it's a bit it's a bit slippery. Alright, let's go it on. And there it is, and you get a, a much wider view. The here's without the the wide angle lens, and here's with the wide angle lens attached. So these two beautiful lenses, I'm really excited to to see what I can do with them. Thanks.